Hey, this is Russ. Yeah, welcome to Anything Goes Mondays. Yeah, where I talk about anything I feel like talking about. Yeah, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays we have e-bike videos. Mondays we talk about whatever I feel like. Now, lately we've been talking about uh, my diabetic journey. As you know, during, um, uh, I would say, mid-January, um, I found out my A1C was like 13.3, 13.2, something like that, way up there, right? So uh, since that point, I've been uh, very careful on what I eat and um, had to bring that whole thing down. You know, it got so bad, as you know, uh, my vision was way messed up. Um, I, I was uh, running to the washroom every 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, literally. And um, yeah, everything that could possibly go wrong by being a diabetic, I was getting all that stuff, right? So, um, doctor put me on uh, medication, and uh, now we're doing pretty well. Yeah, it's pretty stabilized at this point. High blood pressure, too. Let me add that in there. So, uh, let me give you some stats as how we're doing as of this past week. Everything's pretty much the same. It hasn't changed in weeks. Uh, blood pressure still seems to hover around the 140 over anywhere between 75 and 80 on average, something like that. Um, I am back to using... Um, the blood test where I'm, uh, you know, sticking your finger and then uh, taking blood. I do that twice a day, and it usually hovers around, I would say, between 99 and 109. Yeah, it's really not bad, right? Now, I did have a continuous glucose monitor on my arm. I had that uh, for two units, two different brands, but the insurance will not pay for it because I don't take insulin. So I'm back to using the finger uh, stick test, yeah. So uh, that's okay. It's not a real big deal. Um, I, I eat pretty much the same things, but I get tired of eating the same things after a while. Now, as far as the weight loss is concerned, um, I had dropped 10 pounds not knowing how that happened. That's part of the diabetes thing. And then I dropped another 16 pounds from that point. As of this morning, it's down 17 pounds. So total of 27 pounds down at this point. Our goal was to try to hit 30 pounds down before the spring riding season. So we still have some weeks to go, but uh, yeah, we've got another three more pounds to go <laughs> and then we'll hit the 30 pounds. Now, the thing is, is I keep getting this urge of getting something to eat other than the salads and the chicken. So I did add like tuna with mayo on there and then I put that on top of another lettuce uh, wrap type of thing. So. Yeah, it almost feel like it feels like another salad again, <laughs> but with tuna on it. So uh, yeah, I get I get tired of it after a while. So I, I try to throw in some things differently. Now, as you know, I used to like to go to Costco a lot. I'd get a hot dog and a diet Pepsi, and and sometimes I'll get a, a cheese pizza. Yeah, I can't get the cheese pizza anymore. The carb content is too high. So I will get a uh, hot dog every now and then. Now I know what you're gonna say. It's not good for you. Don't eat that junk. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> you try eating a salad three times a day uh, for, for weeks on end. It's, it's, you got to have something. So here's how I do it. Let me show you a picture of, a, of, of the hot dog. So what I do is I rip off the top part of the bun because that is the thicker part of the bun. I keep the bottom bun. I put uh, only mustard on the hot dog, and I get a Diet Pepsi. Yeah. It doesn't seem to spike it much at all. Every time I've tested it in the past when I had the continuous glucose monitors on, uh, which the insurance will not pay for because I don't take insulin. Um, but when I did have it on, it would go to maybe 120-something, sometimes as high as 140-something, and then drop right down again. So it's not a real big deal. Okay, I, I have not tested the pizza. I have not had a pizza from them in, I don't know, since January. So, yeah. But I do want other things. Now, I have gone, as you know, to Golden Corral for a buffet. Now, I've done that a couple of times already, and I'll probably do it again today. <laughs> here's, what, here's what I do. Uh, and, and, and usually the Golden Corral thing, um, I'll only do it once a week to once every two weeks, right? Here's, here's the thing. Anywhere I go, I have to take a look at the carb content, and I have to look at the sugar content. And uh, during lunchtime, you know, everything that's open and, you know, lunch specials or whatever, it's, it's usually fast food places that have sandwiches or hamburgers or something, right? Well, that's all carbs and everything because of the bun. And, and really, I don't feel f 
fulfilled, you know, throwing everything out, just eating like the inside of a hamburger. So, so I go to Golden Corral, and here's here's why I go there. It's not the best food. It's not good for you. I know that. Blah blah blah. <laughs> All right. But I like the variety that I can pick from. Now, there's a lot of stuff there. I don't take most of it. All I take is this. Let me show you what it is that I eat. So I typically grab something like a piece of fried chicken. I usually do that twice. So like two pieces of uh, fried chicken thighs. Okay. And then I'll get uh, a little bit of the pot roast that they have. None of the stuff is great stuff. It's just average stuff, right? Uh, I'll take a little bit of corn with that. Uh, sometimes I'll put in the um, the seafood salad thing, which is just imitation crab stuff, which is you know cheap junky stuff. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of potato salad just so that I can at least have a taste of it. You know, like a tablespoonful, something like that. Uh, I'll grab something like a a, a a deviled egg, half of a deviled egg. Uh, I'll grab a hamburger. Well, actually, it's a cheeseburger. And uh, I'll throw away the bun but eat the meat, and I don't put any condiments on it, right? So I'll usually do two plates of things, and uh, it's usually the same stuff over and over and over. But uh, I don't do any of the desserts or anything like that. I don't get uh, uh, any type of soft drink. I just take water. So... If you look at that, you go, well, you're not getting your money's worth. I know that, okay? But it gives me a chance to get some additional variety within that meal. That's the reason I do the buffet. And any other buffet that I can go to probably will have sugars and things on their food. Like if I went to a Chinese buffet, which is very few here in the, in the area that I live in at this point, um, if, but even if I did go to one, uh, they will typically have uh, marinated meats and stuff, and it's not as good for me. So I look at this, and then I go, well, as much as I would like to do the Chinese buffets, can't really do it. So I go to the American-type buffets, and that's just standard American food, right? And it's not the greatest either, right? But it's acceptable, right? Now, I could go to places like Popeyes or, or, or KFC, something like that. But again, you know, it's just chicken, right? Not that the, uh, the, the, uh, the Golden Corral, that I don't get chicken because I do, but I do add in other things along with it. So Golden Corral, how much does it cost for lunch? Well, by the time you do lunch, uh, I usually get a senior discount. It doesn't save you much. I don't know, what is it, like 80 cents off or something? <laughs> it's not a whole lot, but I do take my 65-year-old um, um, senior discount. I think they do it at 62 years old, actually. So I do ask for the senior discount. I only get water. Um, by the time you put a tip and everything, it's about $15. Yeah. So here's what I want you to do for me. Put in the comments below, where do you think I can go that would satisfy me for lunches? All right. Now, most of the places that I can think of are things like, you know, Wendy's, uh, McDonald's, <laughs> hamburger type places you know where where else could you go and, and i wouldn't want to do it because it's basically what i do at the golden corral anyway um anywhere i consider going has too much sugars or too much carbs where would you go now to, to go further than that i kept thinking about this what if i went on a three-day road trip somewhere you know like let's say i decide to take the car and we go someplace we'll take the bikes or whatever and go somewhere where do i go for lunches and dinners <laughs> I mean, I, I could, I guess you could uh, go to a grocery store, get the stuff, make your own things. But usually, you know, when I used to do that before, we would make sandwiches. Well, I can't eat the bread, so what, are, what am I supposed to eat? You know, just bring a bunch of chicken? I mean, after a while, chicken, 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 it gets a little tiring too. So what would you do? What would you suggest to do? And when you're on the road, you don't know what's available up ahead, right? The only thing you have is you look on the highway, you look at the little road sign that says, oh, you know, food, and it'll tell you some of the establishments that are there. But again, think about it. They're usually fast food establishments. Yeah. So what would you do? What would you suggest? Okay. Put a comment below. Let me know what you would do. As I said, I'm getting a little tired of eating the same thing over and over and over because I will have salad with chicken literally three times a day, <laughs> right? It's a little tiring. That's why I go and treat myself sometimes and go out to something like the Golden Corral, which is not the greatest. I'm not that thrilled with it, but at least it has a variety that I can pick and choose things that I can eat, and I just eat those few items. So... Let me know in the comments and stay tuned for Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for e-bike videos. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, put some comments in. I'll talk to you guys later.